Welcome back to another week. I wasn't really planning on riding today, but I forgot there was a Super 73 Power Ride. I think it's their like monthly ride here in Houston and they have some great routes every time I ride with them. So I'm like, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do for this week's episode. Since Michael's not here, I basically take over his room. I got my little computer set up there, but his bed is kind of like my get ready station. So this is pretty much everything that I take with me on every single ride. Spare batteries, obviously, throw those in the little chest bag. Gotta make sure that we have our microphones, put that in the chest bag. Our little handle, depending on what kind of ride it is, I bring out the ski mask, but this is a Super 73 ride, so don't need that. I also pack this, this is from Peak Design, I believe it's called. Some people ask like how I mount my camera to my chest bag, like when I'm riding. I use the Peak Design. I have this like jerry-rigged onto my chest bag here. I had to make it fit. And then I just clip my camera onto this. It's not the best setup. I would definitely like to design something better, but this is how I've been running it for like the past year or so. Pick some gloves for the day. Those ones will work. Got this bad boy all loaded up. Now we're gonna go get this party started. I try to drive this Jeep like as little as possible. So maybe once, max twice a week. So every time I get in it, I'm like, please start up, please. Thank God it did start up. Cause this thing is, your boy got 155,000 miles. Yes, the check engine light is on. This thing is a piece of crap. I still owe like 11,000 on this. So if you want to buy this 2016 shit box, let your boy know. Is the check engine light on? Yes. Is the windshield cracked? Yes. Is there a hole in the roof because your boy was homeless and wanted ventilation when he was sleeping in here? Yes. And does it now leak water every time it rains in here and ends up smelling like crap? Also, yes. Is the interior beat up? Yes. But from a far, far distance, you could have a good looking Jeep. One more year of this thing, if it makes it a year, and I'll be done. And then I'll sell it, and then I'm gonna buy myself a van. I don't wanna trade it in yet because I don't want new payments. My goal is to like be able to buy like a used, reliable car in cash. Anyways, let's go. Mm -hmm. here Cody was waiting for me uh, running a little bit late hopefully they don't leave without us let's see finally the temperature is starting to creep down a little bit it's been in the high 90s and now we're in like 90 89 range so starting to be a little bit more bearable oh they got a voodoo donuts down here that was like really really popular in Portland Oregon and uh, the first time I went there, I was like all excited. There was like a long line to get these fancy donuts. And so I finally get in there. It's clearly like a touristy place. I go there, I get some fancy donuts and they were mid. It was not worth waiting in the line. I could have had way better donuts like at any local <laughs> donut shop. So don't be bamboozled by Voodoo Donuts. I don't want to hear no. You know, I don't want to hear no ifs about it. Anyone who says like voodoo is like delicious, no, 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 no. It's cool to see some crazy looking donuts. But once you see it once, you're like, ah, okay, cool. I seen it, don't need to go again. I'm really looking forward to this group ride with the 73 guys because I know it's gonna be a lot more chill than the last group ride I was on. The ride is supposed to be leaving in like 30 seconds, but we're about five minutes out. I'm normally not concerned because rides never leave on time, but the Super 73 people, they're a little bit more put together. So they might actually, they might actually leave on time. It's all right. They can't go that fast though. So I'm sure we can catch up to them if we don't see them. And we are here, the Super 73 ride. And everyone else is already here. Oh, some of our peeps, some of our peeps are here. Yo, 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 what's up, man? Long time no see. What's up, bro? How's it going? 
Hey, what's up? I'm Reese. This your bike right here? When did they start putting dual sports on there? Man, it's clean. When did you get it? Three weeks ago, You get a deal on it? Like a 53, I think. $5,300 for an Ultra B. Super 73 power rod. Let's get it, ladies and gents. That man, Herbert. What's up, bro? How's it going? The wheelie kids are back. We got the cameraman here. Hell yeah. It's a nice chill start for the night. It's been a it's been a while actually since I did like a little night ride. Feeling good, feels good. If you're somebody who wants to join one of these rides, go check out the Super 73 Houston Instagram page. I don't know how often they ride. I know that this one, I, I believe it's once a month. Uh, but yeah, come out, have some fun, super chill. Whether you got a Super 73, Suron, Scooter, freaking uh, what are those, EUCs. This is a great, great, group of people to ride with. I would recommend this group to anyone and any type of personality because it's just so chill and so nice. This guy got a souped up Suron. It's a sleeper though, cause it's not powder coated. I see him with the EBMX 9000. He got the EBMX motor. A little shy 72 volt compact, I think. I can tell that thing. Quick, quick, quick. I like when bikes are like that, where it's like, I like when bikes are like that, where, damn, stop beeping. I like when bikes are like that, when you don't know that it's super fast, cause it looks stock, but it's like, nah, nah, nah. Don't line up against that guy. Oh, the racing. No way, 73's, oh, no way. The 73 just beat, no way, dude. The 73 just beat the Sauron. Bro, what? Yo, hey, I know you didn't just lose to it. What was that? I've never seen a 73 beat a Sauron. That was crazy. Well, we somehow ended up in the rich neighborhood. Welcome to River Oaks. You're on camera. All right. Well, River Oaks, Houston, Texas, super nice. Beautiful homes. I need to get on Smiley's bike. He's got those Warp 9 Sumos. I need to do like a, a proper review. I did ride on it like once for a quick minute and it felt so damn good. He's also getting a Torp controller, I believe he said. Yeah, Torp. So we're gonna get the Torp and the Warp 9. Then I'm gonna take that bad boy out for a spin. I also need to take out another buddy's bike. He's got like a high-end, Light bees, social motor, 72 volt. I don't know what else. He's got everything is like high powered on his bike. I need to take out his bike for a spin as well. Ooh, look at these Lambos. Herbert killing it with the freaking 73 wheelies. Let's go. He makes 73s look fun. Like if you're a Suron guy and you're thinking about for some reason, getting rid of your Suron and going 73 route, let him be a prime example of like, yeah, okay, that's how I would do it if I had a 73. As long as I can wheelie and I can throttle only, I'm good. Maybe I'll link his Instagram right here if you wanna message him for uh, details on his build and how he got it so dang good. Ooh, this is the midway point. Okay, well, you can walk your bike in? No way, okay. I might get a little dranky drink. Oh no, right over the thing, come on, man. So the pit stop was good, the beer was excellent. Shout out to Smiley for getting me a beer. I had some chicken fried rice from the little pop-up tent person that was, and that was so damn, I think honestly, no bullshit, that was the best fried rice I've ever had in my entire life. So if you're in Houston, come to this place. I don't know what this place is called. Do they even have a sign? There's this little lady that works this little pop-up shop, pop shop in there. And best fried chicken ever. Ever, ever. This is on the corner of La Branch and Truxy Low. We're splitting off. It looks like the 73 guys are going a different route. A couple of us on the Sarons and stuff want to head back towards the city, so... What's up, man? Shout out to the Super 73 Houston group for 
putting on a great ride, for keeping the vibes up, having a good route, great midpoint. Everyone's energy was there. People were riding respectfully. Like, this was the type of ride that I wanted to go on. And uh, yes, dude, yes. So shout out to you guys. Thanks. Thanks a ton. I hope I get to catch another one soon. But on that note, that's all that I have for you guys tonight. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. And I will see y'all next week.